Hello there, I'm Gilbert Jackson, and today on Fireside Reading, we began chapter 30, part one of chapter 30 of David Copperfield, in which David returns to Yarmouth because he's received the letter from his lovely old nurse, Peggotty, that her husband, Barkis, is very sick. He checks into a hotel rather than his little room in Peggotty and Barkis's house because he knew that Peggotty's spare room, my room, was likely to have occupation enough in a little while if that great visitor, before whose presence all the living must give place, were not already in the house. On his way through town, he sees a light in the window of the funeral parlour, Omer and Joram's. He looks in and there's Mr. Omer, who he has a history with when his mother and brother tragically died. And Mr. Omer was very nice to him. He goes in. Mr. Omer is a wonderfully funny, touching Dickensian character. He's always out of breath, he's always been out of breath, but worse so now, he smokes his pipe, of course, because that helps with the asthma. Um, and they have a lovely conversation where Mr. Omer confesses that you can never, when uh, David asks him, how is Mr. Barkis doing? He doesn't know because that's a question you can't ask as a funeral guy. Because if you do ask, it of course seems that you are hurrying along the inevitable. And then David asks him about Emily. And it seems that Emily's rather unsettled. And there's a long discussion about why she's unsettled. And Mr. Omer wishes that she would just get married to Ham now. He's even uh, allowed her time off from her work. She works there. Um, but something is up with Emily. We still don't know what. It turns out that Mr. Joram and Mrs. Joram, Omer's daughter and son-in-law, are actually visiting Barkis right now, and they'll be returning home soon, and they'll know how he is. They get home, and it turns out that Mr. Barkis is on death's door. So David hurries off. To their house. What happens we will find in the next reading at 5 Pacific live every day at Fireside Reading on Instagram and all the chapters uploaded to the YouTube channel Fireside Reading. Please join us.